Many things happened in 2020, a year full of challenges and unexpected things. Before we wave goodbye to 2020 and start a new chapter in 2021, let us look back at a number of events that have occurred at UGM throughout this year. The 2020 began with a number of achievements from UGM students, such as first prize in the International Industrial Engineering Competition and gold medal at the 2020 International Science Technology and Engineering Competition. A total of 14 UGM research activities also won funding for productive, innovative research from the Indonesian Ministry of Finance. In February, UGM received a visit from the President of Singapore, Halim Mahyakob, who engaged as a speaker in a dialogue session at UGM. In March, UGM once again had the opportunity to receive another world leader, King Willem Alexander and Queen Maxima of the Netherlands, who visited UGM in a series of royal visits in Indonesia. In this month also, UGM began to implement a maximum restriction on campus activities in response to the development of COVID-19 spread in Indonesia. All non-academic activities on campus are eliminated while lecturers, education staff, and students begin work and lecture activities from their respective residences. UGM is ranked in the top 50 world university, according to the Times Higher Education Impact Ranking on the seven criteria of sustainable development goals. In the overall assessment, this year UGM is ranked 72nd in the world, an increase from last year's position of 101 to 200. Dr. Sofia Mubarika, professor at Faculty of Medicine, Public Health and Nursing UGM, was appointed to lead research on COVID-19 rapid diagnostic test innovation. This antibody-based diagnostic tool detects IgM and IgG produced by the body that fights COVID-19. Kua Kwarili Simmons placed UGM in a 254th rank in the world in a QS World University ranking in 2021, up 66 places compared to the previous year's achievement. With this result, UGM becomes the best university in Indonesia, according to the QS ranking. More than 4,000 UGM students were deployed to participate in online student community service, community empowerment learning activities. The students work with communities in 27 provinces, 77 districts, and 263 villages throughout Indonesia to support the development of the potential of rural areas. Research conducted by the World Mosquito Program Yogyakarta in developing Wolbachia technology has succeeded in reducing the case of dengue fever in 35 urban villages in Yogyakarta city by up to 77%. This research was led by Adi Utarini, a UGM professor who was included in the list of 10 people who helped shape science in 2020 according to one of the prestigious scientific journals, Nature. The UGM research team developed an earthquake early warning system that is able to detect and provide earthquake warnings. The system works based on differences in radon gas concentrations and groundwater levels, which are natural anomalies before the earthquake, and can predict the occurrence of earthquakes that will occur one to three days in advance within Sabang to East Nusa Tenggara. UGM researchers developed GINOS, a rapid diagnostic tool for SARS-CoV-2 infection through breath, that works with sensors designed to recognize volatile organic compound patterns from COVID-19 infection. Last October, the governor of Yogyakarta Special Region, His Highness Sultan Hamengkubuwono X, tried this diagnostic tool. Universitas Gajah Mada was ranked 57th in a QS Asia University Ranking 2021, a university ranking publication for the best universities in Asia. Of the 30 Indonesian universities included in this ranking, UGM occupies the highest position. UGM is working with a partner to develop the COVID-19 antiviral medicine. The medicine is currently in development and awaiting approval for clinical trials and is targeted to be ready for market in 2022. Also this month, the COVID-19 diagnostic tool made by UGM, GINOS, received a distribution permit from the Indonesian Ministry of Health and is ready to be marketed. These are the various events that occurred throughout 2020. Thank you to all parties who have supported UGM to keep growing and innovating. 
See you in 2021.